Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. What does that mean to you? So I have been seeing a lot of people struggling financially lately. It just happens to be something that has been in my face. And it's a little scary. It doesn't feel good to see it because, you know, it's like, ooh. But at the same time, I realized, wait a minute, these are all turning points for you. These are turning points for you to say whatever you've been doing isn't working. So we're going to talk about money today. We're going to talk about money. We need money. Unfortunately, the world hasn't uh, transitioned over to the, you know, open platform where money is no longer necessary. I don't know if we'll ever see that in our um in our lifetime and i'm not talking about bitcoin or cryptocurrency that's still an exchange i'm talking about a world where we're just contributing to one another and that we're not competing for wealth well the planet might be off a few years for that but we're going to contribute to the positive frequencies that are going to get us there in the meantime you've got to pay your bills and i know this i love abundance and i love money i love money why? Because with that piece of paper, I can go in and purchase things. All right, my cat is making noises right now, so apologize for any banging you hear. He's scratching himself or whatever. So when I go into the grocery store, yes, I use a card, but there's a money exchange at some place. And without that abundance in that bank account, uh, I, you know, I'm not going to go buy those expensive uh, champagnes and cheeses and the things that I love or get on a plane to go someplace and fly first class. That's how I want to live my life. And you should, too. If you're not, you have to ask yourself, do you think of that as something that's, oh, well, I, I don't need that because, you know, I, I just want to travel. How about, yes, you want to live an abundant life. So you got to get past that mindset first. But I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about the struggle. Of money so I know some of the most incredibly brilliant brilliant uh, people well quaff present themselves perfectly just really together giving wonderful loving smart 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 really know their stuff and yet they're struggling financially and I know that there are some uh, beliefs that back up struggle. Sometimes it's giving and that if they feel wrong about taking or they feel they should just take enough so they always sort of survive. Yes, that's all belief systems. But I'm going to tell you the other thing I'm seeing in pretty much every person that has contacted me. And I've had a lot of strangers, by the way. I'm not talking about my friends or anything like that right now. I'm talking about a lot of strangers out there that are contacting me and saying, help me. Can you help me? I'm in debt. Can you help me? I don't have any money. Can you help me? And I thought, that's why you're in that place. You're always looking outside for somebody to save you or do it for you. What's happening in your own life that isn't allowing you in your mind or belief system to, to take the action yourself. You somehow may be thinking that somebody else has more power than you. Or there is a, um, what is it when you, uh, procrastination. There are people that procrastinate because they're really self-sabotaging themselves. They like put things off. They don't want to do that. When actually, and I've done this before in my, my life, I've procrastinated in the things that really wasn't anything that I disliked doing. And then I would do it. And when I did it, I was like, this is really fun. Like learning something new or, you know, having to do some things that I hate my taxes. And every time I do my taxes, I actually enjoy doing them, believe it or not. It's sort of fun. I don't know. It's weird. I like, why do I always put off the last minute? There's a psychological thing out there that tells me that's evil and bad and taxes. And blah, when actually I'm sitting there putting the information together, which is a lot easier now we have technology, it's sort of fun. I get to really get a, a picture of what's going on with my businesses and, and where I can improve. And, uh, you know, I saw some things going on. I was like, okay. I don't really need that and I'm going to focus on, you know, investing more in here. You know, it was just really interesting and I thought I, it was empowering me, but yet we shy away from that stuff. We're almost self-sabotaging our own success and then we're not taking the action. I see people that absolutely are doing stuff that is so not productive 
And I'm thinking if you were at home, you know, learning that thing or making those calls or asking for a job or looking for a new job or getting the education to get the new job or creating some side businesses or things that can get you extra income, which anybody can do, by the way, if they put the effort in and herein lies the challenge. All these people, they don't want to put in the effort. Everything needs to be free for them. I don't know about you, but I don't work for free. Then I get all these people, mentor me, Landria, mentor me. Um, you know what? I would love to, but here's the problem. I literally have thousands of people that ask me to do that. I'm not kidding about that. Everybody wants me to mentor them. They think I'm supposed to mentor them, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. Where's the effort on your part? And I've actually offered to mentor people, and they don't even bother to you know, schedule something with me. So this is the problem when somebody asks that and, and you know, they're not putting the effort in, I know that the problem behind the challenge behind their supposed failure, them not, them not achieving their goals, is they're just not taking the action. If somebody said to me, hey, call me, if Tony Robbins said, Landry, give me a call, you know, yeah, I'll help you out. I'd be going, give me your cell phone, Tony. Give it to me right now. I got to have it in my phone. I've done that before with major dudes. Man, don't tell me you're gonna help me because I'm, I'm gonna be on it. And then I'm gonna call him, I'll be like texting him. Is tomorrow good? When are you free? Where do you want me to be? What do you want me to do? But people don't do that. Oh, I don't wanna bother them. And then you know, I'm thinking that's why you're not doing well. Because leaders, people that are successful, they're on it. And I'm not talking about being obnoxious or bugging somebody to, you know, get like the mentoring. Oh, mentor me, you're going to save me. I'm talking about get the help you need. Get that job, get the training, put the work in. And then the mentors are going to want to help you because they're going to say, whoa, this dude's going to go places. I'm going to contribute to that. Not because that person expects them to, but because you're going to facilitate something great versus somebody that's going, help me, I need, you know, give me money. I get that all the time. So, are you taking massive action? You can say, well, true abundance doesn't need... You came here for the journey. So, if you want abundance, yes, you have to go on the journey. The journey means, you know, sweep floors, chop wood, get water. That's work. I don't know about you, but I'd rather build an online company than go do some of that stuff and meditate and be enlightened, you can get enlightened in other ways. And that is going through the journey of challenges, of finding the solutions, of getting yourself out of that money problem. There's something going on in your head that keeps putting you back into that situation. Maybe it is the lack mentality. Maybe it is the, um, the struggle. You, I know a lot of people addicted to struggle. They had childhoods where they struggled, so they associate with that, and we always gravitate toward what we know. So if that's you, it's time to take a real good look at it and say, what's my pattern here? I'm always broke. What is it I'm not doing? What are people, and listen to other people, what, is, what are other people telling you? If they consistently tell you the same thing, there's a problem. There's something that you need to listen to and correct if you want to go into that space of abundance. If you're not doing the work, and you're, you're always like rewarding yourself. I know people are they're always rewarding themselves, and they see this thing, and it, you know, as soon as they get money, they put off putting any effort in till they're practically on the streets. I know a lot of people like that, by the way. I know a lot of people have been on the streets before, really successful people who've pulled out of it and said, I don't know, I never want to go there again. So maybe that's what you need to do to be motivated to change your life. Not these pipe dreams. I see another thing too going on with people. They have unrealistic ideas about what it takes. They're not doing their homework. Having worked with hundreds of companies over 25 years, because that's what I did as investment banker, we funded private equity, we funded companies, we gave them the money to build their businesses and we helped them do that. I saw, I saw what it took. I t saw what it took to be successful. And if these guys didn't have a bunch of other things going and they put all their eggs in one basket, that was a problem. But I guarantee you one thing, I never worked with a CEO that wasn't 24-7 on it. And there are 
sacrifices that go along with that. There's no balance there. They were 100% on, on those companies. If you have a family and other things you want to do, then you shouldn't go down that path. Because if you want to be extremely successful, that's what it takes. And then there are other ways to create businesses. I do them online that doesn't require all of that. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm successful at that because I'm on it. There isn't a day that I don't contribute toward that business. Even though, yes, I don't work like a traditional business. I can get on planes. I can do anything I want. But I watch it. I want it to grow. I'm always creating new things. And that money for me is something I don't take for granted. And I'm always watching things. I don't wait till the last minute to be on it. I'm on it now. And I'm forward thinking and I'm creating new companies. And that's what entrepreneurs, successful entre entrepreneurs do. They're always a step ahead of themselves. In other words, they've always got something else that they know they're going to do. But they're executing stuff now. How do I get that money in the door now? Not a pipe dream down here. The other thing I saw us do, uh, a lot of people, they were, they, uh, whenever we had a company, I just shared this information with a friend of mine. I said, whenever we had a company where some CEO wanted us to fund the company and most of the money was going to their salary, bye, bye bye where's your risk in all this? So you have to be willing to put yourself in a position of risk and you have to be the one doing the work. You can't look to other people to save you, to give you the money so that you can go do some la la thing. And sit. That money that people give you is hard earned. When you go into like this internet train, you want something free? Well, then you're going to, that you're, that's why you're broke because you want something for free and you don't want to work for free. And that's a mixed message to the universe. I'm happy to pay people for their um, contribution to my success. Whether it's an education system or anything else, if it's a value, I'm happy to pay them. They should be rewarded. And if you're not thinking that way, you think people should give you stuff, then you are not contributing. And that is the message to the universe is that you are not giving and giving is receiving. You just want to take, 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 take because you feel lack. So that's a mentality of money that this should be free. I can get that for free. Go, go get it for free. Go get whatever you want for free. See how that works out for you because ultimately everybody is looking to pay their bills too. So if anything's free, I guarantee you there's going to be something else that you can pay for. And that that free is usually an introduction to show you the value of it. Oh, I might have to sneeze. It's allergy season. I'm trying not to take pills. So, so do you see what do you see what I'm talking about? Says, I need this. You need to give me this. You gotta save me. But when you take full responsibility for where you are, don't be blaming anything else. I don't care if you got fired. Choosing that position and relying on somebody else 100% is going to put you in a position of vulnerability. Be ready for that. And if you lose that job, it's the universe allowing you to go to something greater. That's going to make sure that that doesn't happen again if you choose. So if you're in a position of struggle right now, it is your biggest opportunity for change. I don't know why I stayed in investment banking for as long as I did. I struggled constantly, especially the last couple of years, just struggled with it. The economic changes and just our deals and dealing with difficult people and uh, clients that didn't pay. And I had to go in a courtroom twice, won both of those cases and still haven't been paid for it. It's brutal. And there are certain industries that just are on a lower frequency. And I stayed in it because I thought I, they didn't know what else I could do. And the things that I had options to do, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to work for somebody else. I owned my own business. I didn't want to consult. I was tired of trying to solve people's problems that weren't willing to take action. That's why I don't do one-on-one -on -one mentoring anymore. I'm now going to start doing that. And you know what? I'm going to charge my value for that because if somebody is willing to do the work, they're going to pay to work with me. 
So that's how it has to work, people. You know why? Because everybody else, they don't want to put the work in. And if you give them something for free or it doesn't cost a lot for some reason, that's no big deal, right? When you put yourself in a position of real struggle, you're going to be motivated. You're going to want to do the work. You want to want to change your life or you're going to continue to stay on that hamster wheel. So money has to come from a giving a given mentality. So everybody, they always say you have to give even if you don't have any money. How can I give? Giving comes from your mindset. It comes from wishing the best for other people. Be willing to give for whatever you can for whatever you're going to receive. Not, you need to give me this, you need to give me that. And then that continues, that fuels that lack. I need you to save me. I can't take care of myself. And if you're in that position, ask yourself, what am I going to do today to change this for me? Not by getting somebody else to give it to me because I just am not capable myself or whatever you think and you, somebody owes you, nobody owes you anything. Entrepreneurs take charge. Entrepreneurs, successful people, are action people. They don't see the drawbacks. They see the opportunity to find solutions and they find them and they change and they adapt and they morph until the thing that they desire comes into view and it starts to work. There's a lot of things I do that I don't have to, uh, or I don't want to, I don't have to, and a lot I just really don't want to, but if I'm going to progress and grow and achieve my goals, I have to do it. There's a lot of things I would really not rather do, but if I don't expand, then I'm just gonna be somebody who sits around and dies wondering what else I could have done. And I don't want to be that person. I want to be the one that flourishes. I want to be the one that makes a change on this earth. I want to be the one that gives to other people and also experiences abundance. And that's part of my life. And I took charge. And even when I had no clue what I was going to do when I quit investment banking, I took the, I stepped outside that box to try things that I didn't know if they were going to work or not. And I learned that internet marketing, I'll tell you what, it has been a life changer for me. You guys see this, these little boxes jutting out? Internet training, you click on there, you can check it out yourself. We're so afraid to do something different, including changing bad habits. And then money, we wonder why money is scarce, because you're not changing your patterns. You're not changing your thoughts. You're not becoming the new person in a diff shifting in a different reality. The new person, that person in the reality who has a lot of money, which you have access to, thinks different, acts different, functions completely different, is taking responsibility, is going and doing things that the, the broke person doesn't do till they're pushed. And they talk a good line. I'm with a lot of people that they're just, they email me and they're just talking, talking. I never hear responsibility in that equation. And when you look at that, you think, wow, taking responsibility is empowering you. It empowers you. It says, I actually not only got myself here, but I have the power to get myself out. And when you don't take responsibility, you're basically saying that you're powerless to change where you are because you didn't put yourself there in the first place, and that's just not true. So money, money is yours to have. Take full responsibility, and those outside sources that you might be looking to save you will come to you, they'll be drawn to you, because successful people want to be around others who are like-minded, and those are those people that take responsibility and take massive, massive action, massive action. So if you have all probabilities, you don't go after just one. You want to go after every probability until the right one comes along and then you say, yes, this is it, this is where I want to be. You don't say, I'm going to stick with this and this if it doesn't happen this way. And all of these are waiting out here for you. It's all yours to have, money. I'm going to sneeze again. What are you going to do today? What action are you going to take today to change your situation? What 
mind shift are you going to have? The poor little me and blaming everybody else that you might go for. I've done it. We all do it. It's always somebody else's fault. And then I think about all of the actions that I took all the way up to that moment. And I was totally responsible for all of them. So, you know, obviously I was allowing those negative uh, frequencies into my life, accepting them because I thought I was going to get something from them. And a negative frequency, frequency is always going to be true to itself. It's never going to be loyal to you. People that care about themselves more than you, greed, whatever, you'll be their best friend until they don't get what they want. When you function on a higher level of giving, of faith, of knowing that everything's available to you, all of those beautiful things on that level will come to you and they're sustainable. So money takes action. It's just that simple. Money takes action. And when you're willing to get busy, I, I will, if, if I'm in a situation that I don't like, I will work till I drop to change it. I can't stand feeling like things are happening that I don't love. I will absolutely do everything in my power, come up with every possible idea, train myself, do whatever I need to, to go into a different space. And you can do the same thing. It's called expansion. You'll learn, you're gonna grow, you're gonna become a different person from it. You may be introduced to things you never imagined that are wonderful and beautiful. And it's all waiting for you. Every probability exists for you right now. Quantum physics, you know that. You know that. So get busy, unless you enjoy being miserable or living in chaos. If you want to live in chaos, great. Talk to the hand. I don't have time for it. I'm busy expanding and doing good things. And if I run into controversy, I'll solve those problems. And there'll be the right people that come into my life to help me. And the same holds for you. I am not different than you. You have equal opportunities. You just have to take them. Are you ready to do that? It's all out there. If you have a computer, you have no reason not to access every answer, resource, whatever you need to do. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. You have blessings beyond your imagination available to you at all times. This is part of your journey. Your journey here is to expand and become the awesome, beautiful light being that you are in a dense situation, a dense experience. Experience it on the highest level. Blessings, my friend. Namaste.